battling a heroin crisis, overdoses, a leading cause of death, and all too often addiction starts with prescription drugs. This Saturday marks the 11th annual National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Officials say kicking addiction could begin with just emptying your medicine cabinet. News 8's Jackie Slater gives us a look at that program's success. 700 tons of garbage a day, fueling a fire that generates enough electricity to power 12,000 homes each year. As the trash makes its way down a 30-foot hopper, it's often mixed with old medications. Tanya McKenzie says Covanta Energy has been participating in the RX for Safety program since 2010. I think Covanta has been a big participant in pushing these, these drop boxes. Plus, Covanta also offers it at no cost. So it's a good program, and you know it's an opportunity for us to be outreach to our community. Garbage with a purpose. Nationwide, Covanta has burned over 2 million pounds of old prescriptions. Today, it's the Norwich Police Department making a donation. A drop box at their station has brought in more than 2,000 pounds of drugs since 2013. They're dropping off just about everything, but the ones that we really need to be concerned about out of the controlled substances. As Connecticut continues to battle a heroin epidemic, officials say prevention can be key to tackling the problem. Studies show 70 to 80 percent of heroin users started with prescription pills. So if we can take it out of the homes, one home at a time, and, and have a safe, anonymous place for people to drop it off, it's a great help along with the education and enforcement. The Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services has teamed up with the Department of Consumer Protection to put more than 55 drop boxes across the state. Right now we're at the Hamden Police Department drop box. Officials say you can put your medications inside a plastic bag, but they prefer that you keep it in the original container to protect your identity. Just take a Sharpie, you can cross out your personal information, and then put it in the box. There's Commissioner Miriam Delphine Rittman says last year more than 23,000 pounds of medications were left in the boxes in Connecticut. If you just throw them in the garbage can, uh, people can still find them, can still access them. Um, children can, have, can get at them, um, so it's really better to bring them to a place where they can be destroyed. In 2011, 13,000 people in the state sought treatment at addiction centers. That number rose to more than 19,000 in 2015, a sign that there's more work to be done and more medications to burn. Reporting in Preston, Jackie Slater, News 8.